Amikai Eliyahu, an Israeli minister, made a statement in early November suggesting that nuclear weapons could be an option for bombing the Gaza Strip in Palestine. Although the Prime Minister of Israel suspended him from cabinet meetings, the statement sparked international outrage. Russia, in particular, found the statement provocative and unacceptable as it could escalate geopolitical tensions. It's well known that Russia currently possesses the largest nuclear arsenal in the world. On November 5, 2023, Russia successfully tested an intercontinental ballistic missile capable of delivering a nuclear warhead from one of its submarines, the Emperor Alexander III. Furthermore, Russia released an animated video depicting a nuclear attack on the United States, showcasing the destruction of cities like San Francisco and New York. This seems to be a form of threat, given that the United States is an ally of Israel. The thought is quite terrifying. It's hard to imagine what would happen if such an event occurred. The world would be devastated. So far, 10 of the largest atomic bombs have been created. Let's examine them one by one. Those who have watched the movie Oppenheimer would be familiar with the life story of Julius Robert Oppenheimer known as the father of the atomic bomb for his role in the Manhattan Project. He later regretted his invention due to the mass deaths it caused. One of the atomic bombs he developed was Little Boy, dropped by the United States on Hiroshima, Japan on August 6, 1945 using the B-29 bomber Enola Gay during World War II. It was the first nuclear attack in history. Little Boy was made from uranium-235. Its design comprised two main parts, a projectile and a target case. The bomb was about 9.8 feet long, had a diameter of approximately 27.6 inches, and weighed about 4.5 tons. The explosive mechanism of the Little Boy bomb was based on the sequential collision of two uranium, 235 projectiles to achieve critical mass and release nuclear energy. The explosive power of Little Boy was equivalent to 15 kilotons of TNT, creating a mushroom cloud reaching 25,000 feet, or about 4.7 miles high. Remarkably, Little Boy was never physically tested before its use in Hiroshima, making its deployment a first-time experiment. The bomb's impact involved the release of nuclear energy, resulting in high temperatures, immense pressure, and radiation. The city of Hiroshima suffered severe damage, with many buildings destroyed and set ablaze. Approximately 140,000 people perished, and the death toll continued to rise over time due to radiation effects and related illnesses even affecting residents living some distance from the blast site. The deployment of Little Boy in Nagasaki was a significant factor in prompting Japan to surrender, effectively ending World War II. The decision to use atomic bombs remains a subject of intense ethical and political debate to this day. Another atomic bomb used during World War II was Fat Man, dropped on Nagasaki. Unlike Little Boy, which was made of uranium, the primary material of Fat Man was plutonium-239. The United States dropped this atomic bomb on August 9, 1945, just three days after Little Boy. Fat Man had a more complex design than Little Boy, featuring an implosive design involving layers of explosives and led to achieve the critical mass of plutonium. It was about 10.8 feet long, had a diameter of approximately 4.9 feet, and weighed about 4.5 tons, similar to Little Boy. However, the explosive power of Fat Man was estimated at 21 kilotons of TNT, more potent than Little Boy. The mushroom cloud it created was similar to that of Little Boy. This atomic bomb also caused severe destruction, with many buildings demolished or severely damaged. Over 70,000 people were killed or injured, 
due to the explosion and immediate radiation effects. Five years after World War II, the United States military prepared for a new era of nuclear warfare against its Cold War adversary, the Soviet Union, by developing the Mark IV nuclear bomb. This bomb, made of a composite of uranium and plutonium, had several design and size variants because it was planned to be produced in more than 500 units, making the Mark IV the first nuclear weapon mass-produced. Its explosive yield varied, with options of 1, 3.5, 8, 14, 21, 22, and 31 kilotons. The Mark IV was used in several nuclear weapon tests during the United States nuclear testing program from 1949 to 1962, and some variants served as tactical nuclear weapons. One of the Mark IV bombs was carried by the first intercontinental bomber, the Convair B-36, nicknamed Peacemaker, reputedly capable of delivering nuclear weapons to any part of the world. Unfortunately, this aircraft crashed during a peacetime training mission in British Columbia, Canada in 1950. Next, there's the B-41 bomb, also known as Mach 41, reputed to be the most powerful thermonuclear weapon ever deployed by the United States, with an explosive yield of up to 25 megatons of TNT. The development of the MK-41 began in 1955 in response to the U.S. Air Force's need for a Class B thermonuclear weapon weighing about 10,000 pounds. Between 1960 and 1962, around 500 units of the B-41 were produced and the weapon remained in service until July 1976. Then there's the Mark 7 Thor, or Mach 7, the first tactical fission bomb of the United States Armed Forces. This weapon was a historical milestone as it was the first to be delivered using the low-altitude bombing system. To enable external carriage by fighter bombers, the Mark 7 was equipped with retractable stabilizer fins. It had explosive yields of 8, 19, 22, 30, 31, and 61 kilotons, depending on the variant and the warhead used, and it was operational from 1952 to 1967. Following these, there was the Thin Man, also developed during the Manhattan Project in World War II. However, this bomb was never actively used in combat. Thin Man was designed as a nuclear bomb using plutonium-239 as its explosive material with a long cylindrical shape. However, there were several technical issues during its development, including difficulties in achieving the critical mass necessary for initiating a nuclear reaction. As a result, this design was altered and replaced by the more successful implosive design used in the Fat Man bomb. The Mark 17 was the first mass-produced hydrogen bomb used by the United States, entering service in 1954 but phased out by 1957 following accidents during testing. This bomb had a yield of up to 15 megatons and was the heaviest nuclear weapon at 18 tons. Not just the United States, France also developed and tested its nuclear weapon known as Lycorn on July 3, 1970 at Mururoa Atoll in the Pacific. This test was part of a series of French nuclear tests and had an explosive power equivalent to 914 kilotons of TNT, making it the largest nuclear test ever conducted by France. Then there's Castle Bravo tested by the United States on March 1, 1954 at Bikini Atoll in the Pacific. It was a thermonuclear weapon that utilized nuclear fusion technology to create an explosion far more powerful than regular atomic bombs, with an estimated yield of about 15 megatons of TNT, more than triple the original estimate. And among all, the Tsar Bomba, 
created by Russia, then the Soviet Union, stands out as the largest and most powerful thermonuclear bomb ever made. This test was conducted over the Novaya Zemlya archipelago in northern Russia on October 30, 1961. The bomb was enormous in both size and weight, weighing about 27 tons and measuring around 26.2 feet in length, creating a mushroom cloud as high as 39.8 miles. The Tsar Bomba was a hydrogen or thermonuclear bomb that used nuclear fusion reactions to produce an explosion far more powerful than conventional atomic bombs. It's not surprising that its yield reached 50 megatons of TNT. Initially, it was even designed with an explosive power of about 100 megatons, but this was halved due to concerns over the massive radiation effects. During the test, the explosion occurred 2.485 miles above the ground, believed to be equivalent to 1,570 times the combined energy of the Hiroshima and Nagasaki atomic bombs. Perhaps the creation of the Tsar Bomba contributed to global fears of a nuclear war, leading to the treaty banning nuclear weapon tests in the atmosphere, in outer space, and underwater. This treaty, signed in 1963, prohibited nuclear weapon tests except for those conducted underground. It was later superseded by the Comprehensive Nuclear Test Ban Treaty in 1996.